I'd like to remove everything that we have learned so far and create an entirely new example, an illustration of where context comes into play. My son is seven, and I've always said that he can he's allowed a few tasteful expletives. Shit is on that list. I can define that as a default context. Let expletive context equal react dot create context shit. I can then make a component for exclamations. In bold text, it'll say o props.word. We can then write another component that wraps this exclamation component in context. We use the expletive context consumer. Opening and closing tags and provide it a function for render. It'll take the context value, which we can name anything word in this case, and return our exclamation component. Assigning the context word to word. Now let's use it in our app. We render contextual exclamation. And without fail, we get, oh shit. Now, the cool thing is, is that we didn't pass any props here. In fact, we can actually delete this props because we're not taking props and we're not using props. We're just using this context consumer. And because we're not using a provider, we get this default value. Now, not everyone is okay with my son saying, oh shit. And I tell him that. I say, not everyone likes the word shit. So if you're around someone who doesn't, use the word poop instead. Now let's model that using components. Now we know that our expletive context also comes with a provider. We can wrap any context consumers in a provider. And we get that provider through expletive context. So expletive context dot provider, opening and closing tags. We're not providing a value on the provider, so we get undefined right here. So we just have O. Let's provide a value, poop. And in this context, and in this context alone, will be the value poop on our contextual exclamation component. If we wrap this whole thing up in another layer, We can actually provide multiple contexts and multiple consumers. Here we see that we get the default value. And then in this context alone, stink. And in this context, poop. Now, like we did with our contextual exclamation, where we use the context consumer to wrap a functional component, we can do the same with context providers. Could go down here and copy what I have here. Now, one person that prefers that my son use poop instead of shit is his grandmother. So let's make a component called grandma's house. This is where we will put the poop context provider. Now we'll have to make a couple changes to this. For example, children is always gonna be dynamic. We'll get that value off of props, props.children. And if we're using props, we have to take props as an argument. Now in our app, we can replace expletive context provider with grandma's house. And because it already provides the context value, we don't have to. So we'll come down and copy this contextual exclamation and see that at grandma's house, our exclamation is oh poop. But outside of grandma's house, it's oh shit. 